I am the DJ A1. Yes. And right now we are Candy, Candy Coded Live. Live. Last week's show was just you and I, A1, and I loved it. I, don't I know loved it. I told you, we got to do more of those. We have to We have to do just, you know, you and I. Yes, it was us and the people. You and we was getting so many callers in last week. You guys were our co-hosts. If you have not listened to Candy Coated Live yet, okay, I want to let you know up front and, and, and from my own mouth, Candy Coated Live, the conversation we love to talk about sex and relationships. We do. We but love mostly talk about sex. sex. So, Punching. before I even get started, I always want to promote safe, safe sex, safe sex, safe sex, sex. Unless you just got to go raw. Oh, no. Sometimes that, it calls for a little Chicago bear. No, you should never want to go raw again. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> he been dropping new coming out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, I don't like you guys. You, so, listen. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> I do understand that this conversation is like extremely grown and sexy. Okay. So the thing that I always want to remind people, yes, we are in the middle of the day talking about this. Some of you are in your cars on the way uh-huh. home. Some of you are at home, but some of you are at work. So I want to let you know ahead of time, please put your earbuds in. People. Put them in. Put your earbuds in. Put them in. Because the conversation can get a little wild and I don't want anybody to lose your job. Yeah. Fucking with us. Yeah. He was about to lose your Don't job. Die. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, we don't want that to happen. So I'm telling you that in ahead of time. Ahead Correct. of time. And if you have to log off, you can always catch this week's episode next Monday. Well, okay? you can catch us every Monday. Yeah, every Monday. Every Monday we are on Candy you, Online on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, on YouTube. You can check it out there or subscribe to Candy Online. Put your reminders on. Yeah, put we your reminders there. on because we're on there and it's always different when you see it. So you, even if you heard it, you might want to go back and watch it because it is even funnier after Correct. our good Oliver Twix puts his little spin on ah. it. You know, he puts all the little bells and whistles on it when it hits the YouTube. Big country. Now, um, the other thing I also want to remind you is you always, always, always want to join us live on AMP, which you're doing right now. Make sure you are following my AMP page so that you can get the alerts. alerts. Because the one thing you cannot do by watching on YouTube, you can't participate in the chat, which we shout out people throughout the show. Correct. Um, So you definitely want to be on live for that to get your shout out for because we're going to be calling out names. But then you also, Mm -hmm. also, also, oh, Mariah says she shout out to Oliver. Uh, you also definitely do not want to miss out on our candy coated cash. Candy coated cash. The candy coated cash. That's what Oliver likes to call it. Candy coated cash. And like we're giving that. away on Mondays, every Monday so far. I'm not going to say I'm giving to you money every week now for the rest of the year. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is so far, we've been giving away $500 a week on Cash App. I was and wondering. we will be doing it again today. Mm-hmm. You ready? I'm ready. So let me tell you about this week's hot topic. Excuse me. Hot topic. Hot um, cockage. What? I your mind hot at? topic, honey. <laughs> so we have a lot in store for you tonight. And with uh, our phenomenal guest yes, host. Yes. To do this, this evening, we have Jamal Woolard. Okay. We know him from his amazing work in his starring role as Biggie Smalls in he, Notorious. He, he played the hell out of that. He played that. He definitely did. He played that. And we also have actress, director, and all-around businesswoman, Money Sutton. Sutton. Okay. And today, we are talking about pillow talking. Pillow talking. Okay. Uh, it's a lot of suckers out there doing that. Go ahead. It is. <laughs> Why they got to be suckers? You know, you suckers out here pillow talking, you dig? Yeah, say it too much, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Let it a little bit too much right out their little triz out, you dig? Whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? You give a nigga a little, you dig, pink, and now he just want to tell it all, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, slob on his little nod. Now he Fox 5 News. Ain't that a bitch? Man, that is true. It's always yeah, somebody want to run their mouth when you give them a much. little taste. Too much. A little taste. Anyway, um, but much love to um, our guest today. They both are are in a movie that we will also be discussing about okay. the movie that they have coming out soon. Flip. Um, yeah, so mm-hmm. I'm going to talk about that when, when they get here, though. Okay. Um, now, check this. 
Yes. I want to know. Okay. When we're talking about pillow talking, mm-hmm. I want to know how y'all feel about it on the show today. I want to know how y'all feel about t- uh, pillow talking. Are y'all pillow talking? In the comments. I already see people section. saying they hate pillow talk. Yeah, it's not good, Mm-mm. man. Pillow talk to the Lord. Let him know everything. I think that's why Lori <laughs> Harvey had, well, rumored to be giving out the NDA to people or that they got to pay her if they be telling her business. I mean, well, can't. You're right. Yes. What was you about to say? Not a damn thing. What was you about to say? You got me fucked up. Fix it in post. I'm keeping my motherfucking shirt clean right now. Oh, Lori, you know what I'm saying? Now, look Lori you. Harvey, my I, girl, what's up? I've Ooh, never yeah. seen you scared to say anything. Shit, me, God damn it. I fuck with the Harvey's. Hey, long way. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, well, listen. And of course, we are going to invite a few of our listeners to call in and to give your opinions. So let's get started. Okay. But one more time, before we get started, we always promote safe, safe sex, sex, safe sex, safe sex. Safe sex. sex. Unless you're in a rush and you really know and y'all already been fucking with a rubber, then uh, sometimes you got to pull it off and go and hit that bit. But pull out. Pull out. Yeah. Pull out. You don't want a late text saying that she's late in the text. Woo! That was a word. All right. Pull out. Okay. So, Pillow Talk. Um, right now, we're going to have a little comments on the Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk is intimate conversations that arise when you are in bed with your partner. Mm-hmm. Now, pillow talk is not always sexual. In most cases, it is an emotional act. Hmm. Or studies show that pillow talk can actually increase okay. heterosexual men's relationship satisfaction. So which pillow talk do we mean? Hmm. It's three different ways to pillow talk, apparently. That was three different hmm. um, definitions of pillow talk. Which Should we get the comments? Should we get somebody to call in? Let's get a caller. What's up, Kay? I'm you, What's up? What's How up? you doing? What's up? I'm doing good. How are y'all? We're doing great. No, don't you have a little sexy voice? Now, where you at? <laughs> Thank Damn. you. What? I'm from Tennessee. You're from Tennessee. You're from Tennessee, but where are you, baby? Like, what you doing right now? I'm at work. I'm hiding. I can tell. I can tell oh, your country is. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so have you ever had anybody to run and tell something that went on in the bedroom? It, that type of pillow talk. Have they anybody ever done that type of pillow to- talk? Told to you? all your business. Told what a mole yeah. was that on your little cootie meat and everything. So and like A one said, it was a sucker. He wasn't supposed to be going back running his mouth, and he did just that. And he, he did didn't just tell that. It right. Oh, sucker. so what did he say exactly? He said that we was messing around when really we hadn't even started messing around yet. We was trying to get there. Oh. And he fucked it up. He fucked it up. He ain't even get to smell the pussy. No. You ain't even get to see what she talking about. And yeah, you already talked about it, but you got yeah, it. Yeah, mm. So did you cut him off or did you listen to yeah. his conversation after that? We got cut off. He have been he's still to this day still trying to get back. And no, he's cut. I don't do that. Yes. What we do is between us, and especially if I gave it to you yet, don't go around running your mouth. Mm-hmm. I'm with that all the way. Have you ever gave a little pillow talk or shared anything that you had um, information that maybe he said in the bed- bedroom that you shared? Mm-hmm. Did you tell your homegirl something? Mm-hmm. Not even yes. just with him, with anybody. You know how y'all doing the well, group chats? I always go back and like tell my homegirl stuff that go on in a bedroom. But as far as like pillow talking, I don't really do that because you never know, like, even though I'm comfortable enough to be laid up with them, like, I don't know who you're going to go back and tell what I told you. And a lot of stuff is told to me in confidence. So Mm -hmm. I just keep it to myself or I tell my friends, but I did have a situation to where like I was kind of messing with somebody and I told her friend about it and she ended up going back and telling, and her husband ended up pulling up on us like while it was happening. What? Oh, so you just messy as hell like they intend to see, huh? They messy. Like, <laughs> I don't know if, I don't mm-hmm. know. I just mm-hmm. get put in some crazy situations. But okay. I, definitely right. got up. I don't really know if that's pillow talking, but I got caught in the act by somebody's husband. Oh, my by Lord. By somebody's husband. Then what was y'all doing when he caught right. you? Right. What y'all doing with her husband? Mm-hmm. I had a spread like a wild eagle. What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> she said that she was with the, the girl. You was out here eating pussy. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and you told somebody else who told the husband? No, yeah, I told her. Like, I was telling my homegirl that I had his wife there. He told, and she told the husband, and his husband pulled, her husband pulled up. Why would your homegirl hate on it like that? Like that, girl. I found out she really didn't like me because I was messing with somebody that she wanted. So she was trying to end it for both of us. Oh, my oh. goodness. So was the husband mad or did he join in? Right. What happened? You let the husband hit? He was mad. He was calling me afterwards trying to like have conversations and stuff. But I was like... You don't need to be talking to me about it. You need to talk to your wife about that. So let me ask you a question. Are you bisexual? Are you trisexual? Are you strictly um, cootie meat? Like, you know what I mean? Um, I mean, I guess you could say bisexual. I'm more into women than I am to men, but Okay, so you ha- mean, so you so 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 you 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 half a straight woman. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> half a straight woman. And I like okay. older women. Okay. Oh, you like older women? Okay. Mm-hmm. All righty. Right. We learning a lot about you today, K-Bay. All right. <laughs> um, well, thank you for calling in. And um, we, we love will, you, baby. we'll check in with you later in the show. Okay. I'll All right. y'all soon. All right, bye. Bye. Right, bye. So, I think we should take another caller. I do too. Okay. Let me tell you something. Oh my gosh, A1. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Who is that? <laughs> I'm outside, man. Who else? We, who? who I didn't even see the name. I was so looking like, at All right, no, no. Let me just it. tell y'all something. <laughs> A1 likes to catch me off guard <laughs> during the show with crazy stuff that he be showing me on his phone. I just cannot. Okay. It's funny, but whatever. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Okay, well, I'll tell one of my own stories. Now, this is since she said it wasn't necessarily about the pillow talk. Uh It's not necessarily pillow talk, but I definitely have done something that made... You were talking too much. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going... No, no, I definitely got a real pillow talk situation. Okay. What you do? What you do? I was way younger... Okay, this you love, is you love to say some shit a long time ago. Cause it was a long time. This was like love to be like I this was super was, young. This was like nineteen young. Shit was okay, six months ago. So I was dating this guy. Uh-huh. And he was a really really big guy, like tall big guy. Okay, but he had the smallest, even to today, the smallest. What the fuck you mean? Um, even to today? How you know? You just said you were nineteen. Cause you know somebody else that doesn't. I was him. not a virgin when I met him. Okay. So let's say that. You say even to this day. I'm saying even to adulthood, he's been the smallest that I've ever seen. Oh, 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 oh. You saying he's the smallest little pecker. He don't ever. Yes. He don't ever pull that on you, huh? Yes. Pull that little baby 3 out on you. He was the smallest that I've ever seen, but I was trying to, you know, work with it. You know how we do, (laughs) ladies. Sometimes, you know, he had all the other things going for him. Let's just say that. Oh, so he had some money. Go ahead. (laughs) You had some anyway. money, so you would give him some pity pussy. Uh, anyway, so Go let ahead. me just say. Um, and then he had like all this extra with him, certain way that he wanted you know, to be able to come. You know, you got to do it this way, do it that, you know, all kinds so of So now you in there doing tricks like you in the damn circus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like extra work for no okay. reason. So anyway, I, I don't remember who. Oh, okay. So I dated this guy twice. So I dated him. Once the for like a month, and then I stopped talking to him because I was like, "This ain't gonna work." Could he eat coochie then, good? Yeah, that was decent. And then he used to talk good shit in the bedroom. He, I don't know about y'all, but I like when people talk real crazy. It's now take call, this shrimp dick, I, bitch. I, I, I don't want you calling me a bitch, but I definitely like it when they, you know, talk who can to I run to? Me, bitch. Come on. Go Not ahead. can you leave the bitch <laughs> off? But anyway, um, so listen. So what had happened was. Do you um, want to? I want to, too. He and I Go ended ahead. up <laughs> circling back and started talking again. Mm-hmm. But you know how the second time around, I was like, oh, okay, I kind of like him a little bit more, even though the size had not changed. But, you know. I like him a little bit. You was 19. I liked him a little more. No, I was a little bit older than, I guess I was now like you, 20. Now you was 38. 21. No, I was like 21. Okay. Anyway, so. Still didn't know no better. Go moving ahead. right along. I guess when I stopped talking to him the first time, I must have told someone. That he I must have told someone. 
An itty bitty, itty bitty. You must have or you did. I must have told someone. In passing. And <laughs> this good day, he and I was headed Not to the movies. Not this good day. We were headed to the movies. It was a great day. We was you know, oh, all smiles. Oh, he set you up. We went to the movies. No, he did not. We was going to the movies. And um, we went into the movie theater. We were sitting in the theater and somebody calls his phone. And so he's like, the credits about to come on. Man. He's, I mean, the little that commercials about to come on in the movies. I'm opening like, credits. The opening, opening previews. Right. So um, I see him answer the phone. I'm like, damn, like get off the phone. You know, we about to watch the movie. Then I hear him say, no, go ahead and say it. What? Yeah. But you, you know, I could tell somebody was like, are you with candy right now? Type of thing. And then he was like, yeah, but like say whatever you got to say. And so they finally said whatever it was. And next thing I know, he was furious. <laughs> He hangs up the phone. He's like, let's go now. I was like, what, are, what you talking about? Like, we had the movie about to come on. He's like, let's go now. So I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I guess we won't be watching Poetic Justice. Come on, so y'all. Time I'm, to go. I'm following him out the theater. We didn't even get out the theater good. And he said, you told somebody I had a little dick. And I was like. I couldn't even get the words out of my mouth. I was like, um, <laughs> and then I, you know, I, at first, your first thought, like, I don't know, y'all know I'm not with, with the lion, right? But in my mind, I'm like, this is a big dude. I'm thinking, like, should I lie? But then he said, then, then he said, <laughs> he said, and I know you said it because they knew that blah, blah, blah. The little special thing I told y'all he liked to do. Whatever. Oh, you went into detail when you got to tell I was like, Ugh. I couldn't even breathe, y'all. I couldn't even breathe. I was like, oh, God. Oh, God, get me out of here. Get me out of here. <laughs> Take me home. He's like, let's go. Now, mind you, my car is at his, his house. house. So I. And it wasn't no and, Uber. No, it wasn't even no Uber back then. So I was like, oh, God. In the car from the movie theater to his house, I was dying. I was so scared, y'all. Like, I ain't never been in a and situation. And you had to be in silence because there wasn't no texting back then either. Yeah, I, I wasn't saying <laughs> nothing. I didn't want to say anything that could set him off any more than he already was. When I tell y'all I could not wait to get back to that house at, and jump out least, that car and get At least he didn't leave car. you. No. And then he was still trying to get back with me after. Really? Yes. Baby, I know you told him I got a little dick, but uh, yes. I, love, I love you, Candy. I love you. Yes. He, I love you. He actually, he was actually ready to get back with Candy was ready Bears. to get back together and no problems right afterwards. It was so crazy. I don't but you know left him alone after that. No, I think we dated for like another month and it was cool. <laughs> I need some. I need some anyway, intel on this. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So that was that. So that was my pillow talk story, and it didn't go well for me. So guys, I would tell you to keep your mouth closed. Keep your mouth closed. All Hersh right, Hersh it. Um, let's move on to the hot topics. What are the hot topics, Candy Burris? Well, the hot topics are. And you know it, but first, we um, before we get into this shit, we have some impactful deaths this week, which I, mean, I just want to give a moment of silence because Ricky Smiley's son, Brandon yeah. Smiley, he was only 32 years old. He passed yeah. away Sunday. Prayers um, up to Ricky. The cause of I'm death has not you know, been said, but we just want to keep the Smiley family in our prayers. For sure. I absolutely love Ricky Smiley. That's a friend of mine. Yeah. And I honestly, when I saw that post of his, it really brought tears to my eyes. So yeah. um, I really want everybody out there to pray for Ricky Smiley and for his sure. family. For sure. Um, there was also a peaceful protest this weekend in Memphis, Tennessee, in honor of Tyre, uh, Tyree excuse me, Nichols, uh, who's 29 years old. Mm -hmm. Twin, uh, Tyree Nichols was brutally beaten by five African-American police officers on January 7th after mm -hmm. a traffic stop. And the sixth officer has also been relieved from duty. Um, officer Hempfield Hill was caught on body cam allegedly saying after Nichols was able to get away, I hope they stump his ass. What? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Lord. So is that a thing that they just constantly do out there for him to be able hey, to say that? Mm. I'm just glad they locked up all six gang members. 
That's what they were, right? Yes. And they was acting like a little gang. That was terrible. You said they what? They was able to post bail? Mm, okay. Well, they post bail. Memphis know what to do. Mm, Amen. Well, Keep going. Lord, have mercy. Anyway, um, we definitely want to put prayers up for Tyree. For sure. For and sure. his family, who have really been pushing for peaceful protests. Yes. And so I have to thank his family for that. Yes. Um. Yes. So with that being said, I want to move forward to a little bit of something more lighthearted. Mm-hmm. Speaking about the weekend. Big O. Oprah celebrated her 69th birthday yeah, Oprah. on January the 29th. 29th. Oprah. Would you hook up with Oprah? What is a pig's pussy pork? <laughs> Would I hook up with Oprah? I just was curious. Like, and Gail. Would you hook up with Oprah? Yes. Would y'all hook up with Oprah? I would love to hook up with Oprah. Okay. And Stedman ain't got to go nowhere. You would? What you mean by that? Stedman, sir, I'll, I'm only here for a short time and a good time. You, this oh, is your you world. said she ain't got to break up with him. No, Stedman At first I thought she was saying he could be in the room. I was like, wait, That huh? too, shit. We talking about Oprah. Uh, uh, wait, I wouldn't give what? a damn. You going to do a threesome with? If I got to go all the way out, I got to go and go. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm a go, I might as well go and go. I am done with you, A1. You are crazy. Yeah, we're gonna turn it up. Turn it up. Ooh, I, I was gonna say something, but I don't want Oprah to be mad at me. So let me shut up. I'm yeah. gonna do I'm gonna do the A1 right now. Okay, anyway, <laughs> in the newly released Netflix movie, You People with Lauren London, John oh, great Hill, movie. and Eddie Murphy. Saw it last night. You saw it already? Great movie. Great oh, movie. Oh, I wanna see it. Great movie with a great message. Oh, I can't wait. And to see Eddie it. wasn't even a comic relief. He wasn't. No, Eddie played a like straight. Lace kind of guy in the movie. I mean, he said some funny stuff, of course. Yeah. But he wasn't the funny one. Mm. Well, a tribute was dedicated to Nipsey Hussle in the movie. which is Yes, cool. for sure. Played mm-hmm. Nipsey Records. Lauren had her hair in the Nipsey plaits and all that. Mm-hmm. A couple of scenes. You could tell it's very uh, Nipsey influenced, you know? Well, that's dope. Yeah. And here's another one. 29-year-old woman arrested in New Jersey for posing as a 15-year-old student. Now, what the hell is that about? I don't know, but the officials are unclear of the motive behind it, but it arrest, raised suspicion when she tried to check herself out with a, without a parent. Mm. The motive is unclear, but parents, students, and members of the community speculate she was trying to lure students into sex work and trafficking. Now, ain't that a bitch? That, I would have had to stomp her. That's bitch. I heard somebody beat her ass. I would have stomped that bitch if I would have seen her yeah. mess with my kids. Motherfuckers are <laughs> doing shit in America, boy. <laughs> 2023 is starting off ghetto as fuck. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, guys. So now it's time. It's time. It's time. Time what? Time to bring on our guests. Yes. It's yes. time to bring on our first guest. My wife Gravy is in this motherfucker. <laughs> you said what? Gravy's here. Yes, I'm super excited. Oh, no. And we are People honored. Still call gravy? People still call you Gravy? <laughs> yes. Um, today we are honored to have our guest host. You've seen him in in the iconic role as the infamous Christopher Biggie Smalls Wallace in Notorious. Let's welcome Jamal, Jamal Woodard. Woodard. My Woo! So how you been? Just working. Just working. Yeah. Well, how is life treating you? What's it's the- amazing. Just to live life is amazing. Mm-hmm. What's the latest and greatest? Oh. Uh... You got um, a lot of films. Uh, Quick Money. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I hate when I forget people' films. Man, they, oh man, uh, City of Gods. Mm-hmm. Um, Turned as fuck. That's mm-hmm. coming. Um, Turned heavier as fuck. too. Trust my. Um, trust nobody. Part two. Uh, Crossroads. Crossover part two. Mm. Um, get close. I mean, it's about at least nine, ten films that ain't out yet. Mm-hmm. And then we're shooting about four or five coming up. So I'll be working till about June and May. Working. That's always good. Yeah, yeah. Tubi, Tubi is a good lane. So yeah. are you producing the films or are you are you acting like what's No, I just um it depends on the deal. Some deals is just just chill, sit back, get the back end. Mm-hmm. And um just work, you know what I mean? Just work that that system that they got, the formula mm-hmm. that Tubi got right now for uh because a lot of people don't know about Tubi. 
A lot of people don't, but a lot of people do. It's getting it's getting out there though. A lot of urbanly, yeah. Urban is heavy. When I'm moving around, moving around. Mm-hmm. A lot of people are like, what is that? Is that part of the Roku cool TV? What is too? But I'll be like, no, nah, no, nah. you don't be telling people. But a lot of people still ain't up on it, like up on it, up on it, like we up on BET. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not yet. Mm-hmm. But the money is so, it's crazy. Like the back ends, the money, they're giving away money, man. They're just giving it away. So mm-hmm. It's a good thing for I've been hearing that. It's a good thing. Yeah. I want some of that money. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. And gravy, uh, <laughs> gravy got in early. Yeah, <laughs> you got it. Yeah. You got it before they they thought I about. No, nah, I just took. A, I took some, my, one of my friends put me on to it and told me about it. And I was like, you know, at first I ain't gonna, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I was like, hey man, I can't do that. Right, yeah. that look crazy. Yes, right. yes. Saying? But then. And not really. It don't look crazy. When you start getting that money, you're like, ah. Not you know? so bad after all. When I start learning the little terms, you know, in the algorithm about yeah. how your face called on everybody's cover makes okay. the money. Yeah. You start learning. You okay. Know? Yeah, yeah. So once I started learning what this face do, I started, you know, projecting that good energy. Correct. Yes, yes. Well, that sounds good to me. Okay. All right. Um, Let's see. Today's topic mm-hmm. is... Pillow talk. Okay. So tell me this. Do you have a situation of your own that you can... I just gave one of my pillow talk stories. Oh. Okay. Now, something... It could be either you pillow talk that you shouldn't have, or somebody pillow talked on you shouldn't have, or it could be different types of pillow talk. So as I explained before, so pillow talk is the intimate conversations that arise when you're in bed with your partner. Sometimes it can be some little stuff like maybe a girl talking to you, to, you know, y'all pillow talking. Or pillow talk is not always sexual, but it can be an emotional act. And study shows that pillow talk can actually increase heterosexual men's relationship satisfaction. And I think when they say that, I think they talking about when they be talking all crazy and sex. That sounds like the pillow talk they're talking about. So... Yeah. What's the face? What is the face? I don't know. I'm trying to understand. So what's the question? So my question is, do you have a pillow talk story that you can share with us? Oh. Um, I got a few stories, but uh I mean that's hard. I mean Has anybody pillow talked, talked on about you, you about you like probably yeah. so. Probably so. Nah, not a probably. I knew you one no, when they know, actually did and it got back um, to you. You found out and you didn't oh, stop. I, don't, I, I mean, I just, I, I, sheesh, I guess for me it's just the norm. Like, you know how when you with certain women, everything is good. You know, you that guy. You that mm-hmm. he-man. Okay. And then when you're not with him. <laughs> you're not wimpy. no more. Yeah, you the wimpy guy. You know, mm-hmm. you ain't the guy no more. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it plays, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I have somebody special now, but um, mm-hmm. yeah, we don't have no problem. I think I'm a little, uh, I'm aggressive. Oh. Yeah, I'm a beast. Okay. No, dis- no disrespect to you. Well, uh, <laughs> I know that that ain't disrespecting me. Right. I think the listeners see, I can't would talk love to, somebody to know. like her like that. I see, I should have been what? talking to him like that. You know, we you know how we look up to kids. Like you, that's, yeah, that's right. Me, I say you whatever what the fuck saying? I want to to him. You must <laughs> see, that's not you. know the that's conversations you. that that's we you. have. Hey, kids, y'all dog walk pussy. You know. The conversation. Okay, like I mean, I don't know if I should be asking you this question, but. Tia West wants to know, are you packing in the love below? Oh, man. She said it differently. She said it very differently. <laughs> oh. Tia West, you get your little issue on this motherfucker, ain't you? <laughs> I'm looking at the questions from I mean, the people. I don't have no problems. I ain't never had no problems. He said he, he said ain't never had, had no problems. problems. Yes, I, I All right, so let's go to, oh, so for Linda says, Jamal, did someone share an embarrassing pillow talk conversation with others? About you, probably like I said, yeah. Of you know, it's always like I said when you replace, you know, the old ones with the new one. It's always mm. going to be some sucker shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you don't. You always going to get it. You going to get it. Yeah. You're always going to be some sucker shit. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's get some callers. <laughs> All right. We gonna go to one of our um, regulars that tunes in every week. So come on, hair by Renice. 
Where is she at? What's up? There you go. Hey. Hey. What's up? Hi, how are you? Hello? Okay, yes. All right, I'm here. Hi, guys. What's up? Hi. Yes, we can hear you. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you guys? Wonderful. We're doing great. Where are you calling from? I'm calling right now from, uh, I'm from New York. I'm from New York. I'm from You're New from York. New York? What part of New York you from? I'm from Brooklyn. Gravy, what part of New York you from? Brooklyn. Okay. Oh, have y'all yeah. ever met? Oh. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we have not. <laughs> okay. So, um, you know, today's topic is um, lay your head on my pillow. So it's pillow talk, right? Okay. Um, yeah. So have you ever had a situation where somebody was telling your business or some pillow talk that y'all had or any of that um, that you can relate to the topic? Okay, so to answer your question quickly, no. Okay, so my perspective is my, um, I'm very um, sexually conservative, okay? So no, but, but I am a hairstylist. So I get pillow talk a different type of way. I get a little bit of everyone's pillow talk. So everyone talks to me and you know. Ooh, well, they're the, telling uh, you people's business. Yes, mm. yes. <laughs> Yes. Okay, so have you heard any juicy stories about anybody who's in the public eye? Um, not necessarily in the public eye, but um, so like within the community. So, for example, one juicy, juicy, juicy one was I had a um client, and she used to come in get her hair done, and it was awesome and everything. And she she mentioned to me my, that her friend may be coming to get her hair done too. So I said, cool. So her friend came or whatever. She got her hair done too. While the friend getting her hair done, the friend revealed to me that she's actually this client's girlfriend mm. i know the client as a married woman with a daughter right mm. that's how i know the client yes so she exposed like oh you know when her husband was away i turned her out and that's my bitch and, do, 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 and all of this is going on so i don't know if the i don't know if my original client wants me to know this so now i continue to um you know do when each person's hand she comes back so then she's like so at the, at the next appointment she's like so what what did she say like you know like she's trying to fish like what's going on like you know like what all did she so i i just told her i was like hey you know she said you guys are you know friends you know whatever i just kept it as that i didn't go deep but i didn't tell her any details that you know i know that i shouldn't know i just said hey she kept it as friends and you know, mm. and we kept it as that. And then later on, truth be told, it came out. She told me when she was comfortable that, you know, this is what really is going on and this is what's happening. And, you know, I felt really happy that I was able to, you know, protect that and mm. let her, I let her, you know, say that to me rather than me bombard her with the information with right. information you know well that's the cool yeah. thing now that now that we have to admit that a lot of people do be pillow talking and telling their hairstylists or their barbers mm -hmm. their personal business mm -hmm. that happens a lot mm -hmm. matter of fact i think when i told somebody that what the story i told you i think it was somebody i had told an s one oh i think so i'm not sure because i couldn't oh. even remember how many people i had told it about that guy <laughs> <laughs> well thank you for calling in are you welcome. Thanks for having me, guys. All right. Bye. All right. Make, change, change the bear in that smoke along. Mm, 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 mm. Love you. All right. We're going to get one more caller before mm. we move on. One more. One more. Can we get a little more? Who, who, who? Davis? Yeah, he been in here for a second. All right, Davis. We sent you an invite. Please accept your invite and make sure you unmute yourself. There we go. Hello, Davis. Man, your country ass, take the shit off mute. Unmute. How I'm you doing? Bad. What's up? Hey, Candy. Hey. How you doing? I'm doing so good. I love y'all. I'll be watching all the speak on it. Are you going to keep A1 for next season? Uh, you mean for Candy Coated Live for sure? No, he's talking about for speak on it. No, nah, speak on it. Oh, I'll speak on it. Oh, I don't know. I, I haven't even think of, thought about it yet. Tell me, she will. Uh, I know you got a lot going on. It's probably hard to keep up with everything. Ah! How can she not keep me for next season? I mean, I'm hot. Oh, my goodness. We need them. 
A one is so funny. Um, okay, it be so show sometimes. Davis. Oh, he loves you, Dave. He thinks what? you're the best. He thinks you're the show. I mean, well, I mean, somebody need to tell her. But go ahead, sir. No, uh, Candy, I love you too. I'm, I'm talking about both of y'all together. Thank you. Thank I you. appreciate that. Appreciate it, gangster. So this today's topic is about um, pillow talk. Do you have a mm-hmm. story of your own that you can share with somebody was pillow, pillow talking. talking and it came back to you or you was pillow talking uh, about yeah. somebody else? Um, it was actually a really sad story because I had like a really good friend and then I started hanging out with this guy and my friend called me while I was with him and he saw the name and he has like a very distinct name mm-hmm. and he was like, oh, you know him? And I was like, yeah, that's my good friend, whatever. He told me a whole story about my friend that I knew was not a lie because my friend has told me that same story, but changed the details around completely. It was very shady. Hmm. Well, was you it know, shady or sad? Now, the, you started this shit. I was like, what? was it shady or sad? Uh, shady, sad. Like people live on the low and like, I'm, I'm open with my life. Mm-hmm. I'm not really. Oh, okay. Of okay. Life. I follow you now. Go ahead. So you meet a friend and y'all, you, y'all, they, you think, you know, the person y'all been friends for years whole time it's like why not just like hi i don't i've never understood why you would hide being gay from another gay person like why would i beat you up about it why are you ashamed about it Mm -hmm. and so when you're talking about girls and all this stuff it was all made up it was all a fallacy and so i thought it was disrespectful that you would go out of your way to tell me a story unprovoked about a girl or not even a girl about making it seem like you was helping somebody and letting them stay in your house because you're just a nice person and come to find out that the the guy that I met is the ex boyfriend of the other guy that was staying at my friend's house. Him so the whole time they was telling you that it was a friend and it really was a boyfriend, like trying to look like a good person, like oh yeah, I let somebody stay in my house and they took advantage of me. That was your boyfriend. Ah. And then t- Candy, you know what it is? What? So my friend told me he moved into uh, Maryland, right? Uh huh. Why and he's he's giving like real vague answers. I'm like, why are you moving? Whatever. He's giving me real vague answers. Why did the guy that I met back then, because it was like last summer, why he tell me that the ex boyfriend moved to Maryland? Uh. So when he told me he moved to Maryland, I was like, no, it's not Maryland, it's DC. When he told me he moved to DC, I didn't even tell him why I know he moved to DC. I was just like, that's shady as hell. Like, and I was gonna bring it up to him, but I'm just like, I I don't want it to make it like a like a why you didn't tell me your business type of thing. I just think it's like why would you lie? Like I rather mm. not say nothing at all. Well, I mean, honey, I think this was the exact opposite. They weren't giving you the pillow talk, Eddie. They was keeping the pillow talk to themselves. You did and leaving you I'm out in the dark. The, guy, <laughs> the other guy gave me that information. Yeah, I think it was just meant for you to know. All right, thanks for calling in. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay. That was so, a lot. Yeah, that was a lot. It wasn't necessarily pillow talk, but that was an interesting little kind of situation. I feel like Buddy just wanted to, Fringe just wanted to tell her what was going on. He wanted to get his shit off. He wanted to get it off his chest. I said, it's all good. Yeah, he was, he was, he was, it's he all felt good. like they tried to get over on him. Yeah, sometimes and he wanted to tell. let it be known that he knew what was happening. Yeah, it's all good. Basically. Now we all know. Now we all know. <laughs> we all know. Your folks were fucking your folks. All yes, right. Great. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's bring on our second guest. Let's keep the party going. Yes. Um. Today, our second guest. We want to welcome to the show, Money Sutton. Um, I'm Money Sutton. I'm am from Atlanta, Georgia. Mm. I'm an actress. I'm a mom. I'm a model. Um, okay. I actually started out on a Royal Star uh, with radio station and pretty much just doing a lot of stuff in the community. I have a nonprofit. I do a lot of things in the community. Okay. Yeah. You're from Atlanta? I am born and raised. Quick, what high school you Georgia, went to? North Clayton High School. Oh, you're from the South Side? Yes, yeah, South Side. Um, mm. Absolutely. Uh, Clayco. 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 Yeah. yeah. Clayco. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, tell us this. Oh, her name is Money. Some yes. people are asking me, what is her name again? Okay, so. Not a script. You're not a stripper. <laughs> not a stripper. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Maybe if you were a stripper, it might I, still I, fit. I, I, am, I am. Well, at night. All right. <laughs> By myself. Okay. So I don't know if you've ever 
seen Candy Coded Nights or Candy Coded yes. Love. Yeah. But, you know, this this show is a show we love to talk about sex and relationships. Mm-hmm. Love it, love it. Okay, so we're going to get in your business. Okay, sounds all good. The, all, all right. the way in your little to me. Let's ah. go, let's go, let's go. We're going to dig deep. Okay. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so today's topic is um, pillow talk. Mm-hmm. So I have to ask you right off the rip. Have you ever had a situation where either you were pillow talking about somebody else, meaning telling some of their personal sexual business or whatever, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it came back, so or you, you had some issue with it, or vice versa, if somebody right. went around pillow talking on you? Oh, wow. I haven't had nobody pillow talk on me. Well, that's good. But I've pillow talked on somebody else. Ah! <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so what happened? Um, A guy pretty much who I've been knowing all my life can't look. Ooh, ooh, that's a lot. Um, I've been knowing all my life. We was going to get married, but I said I couldn't marry him. I'm a Gemini, and the sex just was not great. Oh. Mm. At all. Oh. At all. And you told somebody. I I told a couple. Did it get back to him? It did. Oh, Lord. What did he say? He said, well, if I didn't like it, why didn't I tell him? I said, well, you know, you can give some meaning. Who who hints, you know, you're not Mm -hmm. hinting on the top and the bottom. You know, I think a man should just really find out what a woman's personal, how her body, what she likes, Mm -hmm. you know? I agree. And then you should know when she faking and when she ain't. Mm. Faking and when she ain't. So that brings on a a good conversation. So, fellas, since y'all sitting right here, Mm -hmm. how is a woman supposed to share that information if she don't like what you're doing? You want to go first? Yeah, Jamal. Well, you got. I, I mean, I ain't never had that problem of a woman have to tell me what she was doing on the sign signals mm-hmm. or let me know if I'm not doing the right thing. I never had that problem, so I wouldn't know how to. I can't. I can't tell it down. I didn't have that problem before. You I did. did. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, so what happened? I don't have to. I don't have to. You know, but I ask questions. I'm very vocal, and I like okay. for women to be vocal with me. Absolutely. On your mm-hmm. first time. Yeah. Well, the first time that's that's how you yeah you figure it out. Oh Absolutely. no, I'm, I'm, you know what I'm, I'm saying? Like the not. first time, that's how you figure out what it exactly. Like I can't, I don't read minds. Right. You know what I'm saying? I can't read your mind. So you know what I mean? Let me know what's up because I'm gonna let you know what I want. I'm gonna let you know oh, how to please oh, me. Okay. Mm-hmm. So right. so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask some questions. What do you like? What do you don't like? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Oh, I ain't never. No, nah, I ain't never put no instructions on it when it's yeah. time. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it's yeah, time yeah. to get to hey, it. We no, get to it. Like, no, I'm, no, I'm talking about in the actual physical. Oh, why are you doing sex? Yeah. 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 No, no, no. I'm not sitting and having a Q and A with the motherfucking pussy. <laughs> no, I thought she was. You yeah, know, yeah. like yo, you like this? You yeah. like hey, that? Hey, by the way, bitch, do you want your leg to the left or the right? Well, no, I'm yeah. not doing that. Doing none of that. I'm just gonna just get to some, it, and then I think some men think automatically that they know sometimes what a woman wants, and mm. sometimes you don't. You should. Autom- you should, but let's just say what? I just met you, and what? you may not know, and I get with you, and you may not know that my G spot is at the top or is at the bottom. Right. You may not know about like it from the back great. or from the front. Correct. I'm going right. to tell you, but you know, some men are so quick for them to get off, but not. Right. But well, see, that's good right. for me. Yeah. That's good right. for me because if we weren't good together, then we, you know what I'm saying, wouldn't be together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't make your man be the man. That's a little bit. So you don't want to make him no. be perfect. Like if he if he ain't right, then he Well, sometimes you, know you gotta get right though. I, I nope. disagree with you, Jamal. See, you don't like the chemistry I, when it's perfect. Well, then... no, 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 it's not that. <laughs> and that's not what I'm saying. I, what I'm saying is like every woman isn't the same, right? Yeah. Everything right. Okay. doesn't like, mm-hmm. some women like they click to be licked fast. Some of them don't Absolutely. want it to be, some of them like this sucks slow. a little bit more. Right, right, right. Some people, you Like it's slow. Yeah. yeah, some people want you to hum on it, all kind of yeah. shit. Yeah, sometimes you gotta write you know, a song no, on some I'm pussy. Being honest. You know? yeah. And, and, I, and yeah. I hate the talking. And, 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 and yeah, some people yeah. want you to you stick like some talking? fingers in there no. while you're doing see, it. Some people see, don't my, like my it. My fiance, he's Nigerian and he came all wrong. Really? And I mean, and, and I mean, I can understand me because now. he did not have his, you know, woohoo sucked in 17 years from the previous wife. So what? Yeah, you never I, had I, a I dick suck. I not in 17 years. She I said. didn't even know why he was even married that long. But I was just like, whoa, never, ever, ever. So Money, never, I ever. want you to suck. So, and I mean, never, ever. So I had to pretty much tell him what I want, mm-hmm. and that made a better relationship for both of us. I mean, he was already mm. packing really great. So did he eat pussy? Absolutely, but she didn't want him to eat hers. I said, see, I ain't that woman. No, oh, no. <laughs> so they didn't do anything. That oil. is a requirement. It is a requirement. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, you, get that thing ate up. Yeah, you cannot even be in this relationship. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. But you know, sometimes like you said he was an older man, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, he's like nine years older than me, but he's an older man, yeah. 
Okay, well, yeah, he's older. I don't know how old you are, so I don't want to make any assumptions. <laughs> he's older. Man. Well, I'm just I'm gonna saying, say if you're 50 and older, you're older man. Yeah, some of those guys they don't um they don't be wanting to do oral like that. Rick, they want you to get right to it. I mean, not none that I talk to. I'm just yeah. saying some <laughs> of that were slob know. on my goddamn knob. You hear me? Well, yeah, but you think the older generation. <laughs> Back in the day, it wasn't as popular wasn't, to give head and stuff like that. It wasn't. You know. Well, who started second day? I was the only one who wasn't until my girlfriend. In the 90s, yeah, you, you We know, wasn't. In a lot 90s, of people wasn't. wasn't. In the 90s? No, I wasn't. I mean, I was. But I wasn't. In the 90s? Until my no, girlfriend. No, I, I, shit, I didn't see no freak, Nick. No, 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 no. I'm not saying everybody. I'm just saying there are like certain groups that was like, oh, I don't do it's that. Nasty. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Lord, they but only white girls do that. You now, know? how the fuck y'all was getting by not sucking dick, ma'am? Money. Uh, I, Talk was, to I, me. Was, I was getting very much by. Nah, yeah. You, you got, yeah, uh, you got a Thundercat pussy start? on you. I mean, I was, I was getting by uh-huh. until my girlfriend, you know, told me. She was like, you know, he said he wanted it. And I was like, oh, no. Like, I'm, I'm a holy girl. We don't do all that. If you don't mind and me she asking said, yeah, she you. Did. Mm-hmm. Evangelist. Absolutely. Uh, Not. <laughs> how, how old were you when you first put a dick in your throat? <laughs> oh, um, 21. You were 21. You was 21. I'm 21 or 22. So she waited till she can buy alcohol and, and suck and, a dick. And, and, and I'm being honest with you. When my girlfriend, I, I was the only one who wasn't. Second and so day. when I told my girlfriend, she's like, oh, you don't? I said, no, I don't. I said, good girls don't. She was like, well, not this good girl. I do. So I literally sat down, started watching porn, and just really just like started doing a whole class on sucking dick. Did and you then enjoy when it? I did, I did. Okay. And when I did, he said that I had already previously been sucking dick, even though I had studied it for him. Yeah. So men don't sometimes know what they want because I had Oh. Well, he probably oh. was saying you did it too good. I did. He did. That's what oh, he did. You had a, yeah. had a yeah, little yeah, blessed yeah. throat, huh? Okay, so. <laughs> Amen. I see people dropping oh. their ages of when they started oh, doing oral in the chat. Uh, drop in the chat how old you were the first time now, you did some, oral some of these sex. Ages, some of these ages I'm saying is disrespectful. Oh, Lord. <laughs> some of these ages is just beyond me. I tell oh. you. Somebody said never. If you ain't never sucked dick, get the fuck out of our chat. Wait, K Johnson twenty two. K Johnson twenty. That's the, that's um our uh she's if I can remember correctly. That's our our um lesbian calling caller. Oh 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 oh! You Listen, ain't you ain't suck now, piece of dick. You don't you? you don't have to. This is oral. This is so K Johnson. Even if you going down on women, it's yeah. still count. when the first time you I had know. your K Johnson. When the first time you got your strap sucked? How about that? Ooh, Wait, no. what? Is this crap? <laughs> no? I cannot. We ain't going there. I can not. Hell Somebody yeah, they suck strap. 13, that's oh. disrespectful. Did, what, oh, jeez. What did you get out of it? I, ma'am, I don't know. My dick oh, is I've real. I've seen a couple of people putting 13 in the chat. <laughs> is it? Now, y'all were fast school, as hell. They was in middle school getting it in. Yeah, I was fast in the head. Okay, so. Manish, as my grandmama used to call it. Mm, Manish. Listen. It's mm. a what? Mm. Oh my goodness! Okay, you guys, I've been saying this whole time that you guys did a movie together, but it's a series that you guys are yeah, together. It's a series. Yes. Oh, it's a yeah. series. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Okay, so okay. what's the name of it? Flip the script. Flip the script. Flip the script. I saw the trailer it was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty good. Who do you play, Money? Um, I actually play his his girlfriend in there, which Ooh. he is like oh. off the chain, oh. sleeping with everybody. Oh. Do y'all oh. have any sex scenes in the movie? I was going to ask that. I mean, well, you know what? Series. Uh, we didn't, we didn't know. you know, because when I did that movie, um, that, that series. series at that part, I was like losing weight at that time. So I was coming from like 289, I think, when we did our part. I was probably about 220. Now I'm probably a little bit sexy in my own skin now. Even oh, though, okay. yeah. You look good. So, thank you. you. Look, I'd fuck the shit out you. You look good. Thank you. Respectfully. <laughs> I sexy. did not. To <laughs> so the listeners, she's sitting up here looking good. Money, money. Okay, right. so uh, but Jamal. I am looking forward for the sex scene. Oh, 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 she looking forward to it. I mean, we have great chemistry together. We're real. Good oh, chemistry. she looking oh, forward to me. Yeah. Do you have any sex scenes with any of the other people that you play opposite of? <clears throat> yeah, I got a, I got a lot of sex scenes yes, in a lot of films. Mm-hmm. No, I mean in this series. <laughs> yes, oh no, not that series. He done oh, broke okay. it all the way down. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking bitches. I'm in the bathroom having sex. Remember. I did. Yeah. Wait, is that in real life or that? In, no, no. In, 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 in the, the script. series. In the oh. series. I, 
I'm trying to remember. In the mansion, I catch you in the bathroom. Y'all was, she was butt naked. Now, how oh, much man. fuck are you doing, son? Well, you can't even remember who you, what you did. He's doing a lot in this area. I was, we shot it a long, a, a while back. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So it's just, you know, a little refreshing. I'm getting older, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you just got a lot of projects. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so what, um, what network can they see this um, show, Flip the Script? Well, hopefully we see it on any network, as long yeah. as it's out Oh, there. it's not out yet. Oh, no, you haven't not set up yet. the deal yet. Okay. No, I, I, my, my man Chaotic, he's the director, he's the boss. Yeah. This is his mm-hmm. film, so it's on. Chaotic. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Chaotic for putting yeah. it together. Yeah. And it's actually supposed to be shown on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. I met okay. Chaotic with yeah. Dro one time. He cool cat. Dope. Oh, yeah, That's yeah, dope. yeah. Cool brother. Doing yeah. his thing, my yeah. brother. All yeah. right. You know what? Um, I didn't even get to ask you the question. I'm going to ask you the question that we were asking our audience. When's the first time you experienced oral? Oh. Hmm. Um, like, how old were you? Probably 21, 22. I was late. I would play ball. That was my life. Basketball was my life. So I wasn't football. You was 21. Yeah, about Basketball 21. was your life. So you can't get your dick All the ball players is the ones that was getting it. What do you nah, mean? Nah, I wasn't focused on, I wasn't focused on no, no You mean when shit? you got that? it or you gave it? No, nah, I got it. So how old were you the first time you gave it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. First time I gave it. That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. All right. First time I got some head though. About 21, 22. But I don't know when the first time I gave it. That's a good question. Good. Jamal, you a late bloomer. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. I mean, I can't remember when the first time or who the first one was. You remember who the first one? Oh, my God. I mean, I, don't I know. remember who the first month I did too. Day. You do? Hell yeah. Okay, tell us all about it. She must have been, she been good then. Not me. I just remember who the first motherfucker was to suck my dick. I uh-huh. forgot. I forgot her name, but we were behind the trailers at school. Mm. Uh huh. Yanked all in her little throat. Oh <laughs> my goodness! Wow. Yeah, just terrible. You <laughs> did. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. She turned out to be pretty nice in life too. I can't think of her name. I seen her on Facebook, but. I, uh, <laughs> Can't think of her name, but yeah, she. No. <laughs> you sound like old man. I, I, I can't think of her name. I seen mm-hmm. her on Facebook. Yeah, you sound like my mom and them on the Facebook. Yeah, I on see, seen her on the book. She oh, was, all, she was all right with me. So when was? Oh uh, wait, when was, everybody when was dro- drop in the chat 21. the name of the first person that gave you a head. Why okay? would you? They don't need your name. I'm just joking. I'm just. Trying, I was just trying to head. see if anybody was gonna do it. It was, just, it was a joke, y'all. It was a joke. <laughs> Anyway, go ahead. Watch all the names start popping up in the <laughs> chat. Mm, mm. Put their name in their Facebook now, just oh, bullshit. <laughs> uh, I see people. Chevelle said Kim. I see uh, Lady Pink says Sean. It's some people dropping. Mm. Tender Love 80 said A1. She me. No, the fuck she did. Who? Let me see what she looked like. Where's she at? It might have been her. I'm joking. It's a joke. I mean, I think she was just talking about what you were saying. Oh, oh, right. oh. People are definitely dropping names in the chat. Yeah, for sure. And people were giving y'all some head for the first time. Got some old ass names. Yeah, <laughs> I seen one bitch say Viola. You know? Oh no. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Candy. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm not participating in this one. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of the cat that gave you some head for the first time? Oh my lord. Hmm. <laughs> Lira. Taurus. Tar. Taurus. No, his name. He actually was my my first was my husband. Wait. What the How fuck is going on you? with y'all? I met him when I was eleven, and um, oh, yeah, he, he wasn't well, even he he at eleven. My husband. He became your husband. You met him at eleven years. Well, my ex husband. Your ex husband. Well, well, you know him since you was eleven. I mean, it wasn't yeah, but too we too much longer. Y'all were gonna be together. We met his. No, 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 no. But at what <laughs> age did he give it to you for the first time? Oh, eighteen. Oh, okay. Eighteen. Okay. So you first had time rec- having sex or first time oral? Uh, oral. Oral. Twenty one. So y'all both gave each other for the first time oral at 21. Yeah. Oh, wait. Boo. So, so the- no, I'm just kidding. But, but let me tell you the reason why. We had sex at very... We had sex very... We had sex at 18, but he went to prison for like five years. And when he got out, we got married. Oh. Yeah. So okay, it was like oh. reconnecting all over. She got her little thug. Little yeah, thug yeah, rugged. Yeah. You know, everybody used back in the day, like a person with tattoos and about a yeah. you know, bullet hole. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. He's from the west side, ain't he? He was definitely from the <laughs> west side. West. That nigga with the Thero, didn't he? Oh, all right. Go ahead. Tri Cities, actually. Oh, that's what we went to school I went to Tri City too, and North Clayton. For real? Yeah, he went to North Clayton, too. Yeah. Oh, that's shit. That's funny. <laughs> Okay. My boyfriend and I have been together for three years. The sex has become so boring 
He says he doesn't like the way I give head and I don't like the way he does it to me. Is there power in head? It's definitely power in head. What is y'all talking about? <laughs> yeah, I mean. Like, okay, first of all, let's start with. Now, who the fuck's supposed to answer the question? Me and oh, you. Okay, well, you go ahead. God damn. I am, I am a definite advocate but, of but you since, have to give since, good head. But since but you actually absolutely. suck dick, tell her. Absolutely. Well, this applies to sucking or getting Shit. licked or whatever. In order to give good head to somebody, whoever uh-huh. the person is you give it to. Okay. You act, you have to do it like you love it. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Like if you gonna don't be over here to my absolutely. If you gonna suck yeah, that dick like you love that's it, how you get red bottoms. Or you gonna eat the pussy <laughs> like you love it. You gotta do it like you love it, and that's what's gonna give the okay um, that they you know when they watching you do it. Mm-hmm. It's just gonna make them be that that brings them closer to the feeling that they need For to sure. be having, right? Okay. All right. So you need to be slobbing on that thing and. You know, you know. I love to choke a bitch with the dick, you know. Is that what you like? <laughs> Come in, you nothing. Choke That's what you like. I, I bit. Why do you want to abuse people with <laughs> Why the sex have to sound like abuse I'm when it's with you? I'm trying to give a bitch, you know, chance of light as you filthy oh, bitch. I love Ugh, it. Ugh, you sound filthy yourself. <laughs> not, not all of them. Some of them, you know, you got to take it easy on their little throats. But you know, for the most part, you know, bitch he gonna know use, she been in there. He been using his penis like the swab for the COVID test. <laughs> I know. Like, you going all the way back down to the tonsils. That was good, Candy. Jeesh. I mean, but you know, sometimes, you know what I mean? Mm. You ain't never, Jay, sucked it till y'all more threw up? Yes. Yeah. But I don't like that. Me neither. <laughs> I don't want that acid to be coming up. Ah, that's gross. Trying to dog walk a bit though. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Why do you always have to do that? You look, always... you see, look how I vote to my choke me. They like it, Candy. Sometimes you gotta go. Now, yeah, I mean. Yeah, you know, somebody said choke me. GG, I, I see you. I'm trying to fuck a throat till they got tears in their eyes. You hear me? Uh yeah, they, they yeah. yeah. I mean, I want a bitch to come up and say, take me to the king. Oh, yeah. No. Please don't, please don't put the gospel music in the bedroom with you, okay? We got the bishops in over please here. I thought not. I had Melinda <laughs> says, A1, nephew. She with you on that. Uh, I see somebody, Keisha uh, 0915 is putting the squirt marks up on the screen. So oh, she's Lord. definitely Damn, with see, it. They, I told they like that shit, Candy. Hey, man. You the only one in here with this old, uh, you know. How old are they? Who is K-O-D? Wait, Odio Lamaroti says, have the cum splash out of her nostrils. Oh. Now that's new. Kind of. Montoy Denise says, nose running and all of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I need a bitch to go get some Kleenex when I'm done, you know. Oh, okay. Well. Sometime, not all of them. Uh, I see <laughs> a lot of people agree with you, A1. I know they do. Either way. You the only one in here acting like you ain't never spit up fucking potatoes and shit. Go ahead. Well, no. I said <laughs> that I ha- I said I don't like it when it's to the point where it's got the acid coming up at your throat. You ever been to that point before? No. You ain't. Absolutely not. When they be like, yeah, they want you to go all hard yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ain't never just went crazy on the DJ. Got beside yourself one night. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Never. No, not never. <laughs> you ain't why never you, just went crazy. Why are you messing with me? I don't. I don't. I, yeah, I you know, never you know, went that far uh, to uh, gag. Uh, you doing all of that? Okay. Yeah. And you be like, but I don't like when you start putting your hand on my head and stuff like. You don't that. like your hand on the head? No. You know what? I got. I got from this motherfucker here. Now, now I, I can. You can put yeah. your hand no, on my head. Not wait, on my head. Which way are you doing it? And I got from the. See, I catch a motherfucker by they, this, by this, this by motherfucker. Their face. Ooh. Yeah, I, but not. But but you know, <laughs> when you up in this motherfucker with the, you know, chin and throat, you know, you got emotion. Yeah, you kind of you real sexy with it. But if I get to wrapping your hair around my goddamn fist, oh, bitch, I'm gonna go crazy. That's when it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's that's, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Sometimes me, sometimes you got it. Yeah, candy. Listen, Candy, now, now. that can be a little disturbing. <laughs> she better have on a good frontal. <laughs> when, oh, oh, first I of pull, all, I don't, I'm gonna pull the cover of them shits off. You, now, see, I'll be mad at you if I just got my hair done. You over me here trying too. to pull my wig off. Absolutely. Now, hold on. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she said, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm messing with you anyway. No, but seriously, I just kind of feel like, you know, you can really get what you need to get out of it without it being, having to throw up on the dick. Mm. Yeah. Like that's just my personal opinion. No personal opinion. But I do, I do you. you know, some people do like to want to feel like they're fucking your face. Yeah. 
you know. Yeah, I used to, I used to have like this. I used to have this one bitch. Oh man, that thing. You know, she was gorgeous too. Beautiful motherfucker, man. And she ain't throw up on the dick, man. She wasn't satisfied. I used to be like, all right, just gonna clean it up, you know. You actually like the throw up to come on. Man, that bit was so goddamn gorgeous, man. I'm gonna tell you who it was in a little bit. That motherfucker was so bit, that bit yeah, There you go, pillow talking. She could have mm. dealt with it. <laughs> <laughs> A1. A1 pillow talks to me all the time. But I don't tell nobody. It's just us. Okay. We'll talk about it later. I bet you I won't tell you shit else. <laughs> hey, I, friend. I bet you last week was the last shit friend. I told you. <laughs> okay, we got one more question. Um, A1, face the camera. What? Uh, oh, well, I just wanted you to give a heartfelt response to the person. Right. Candy gave this shit. No, oh, I, I guess I did. <laughs> right, you gave I guess answer. I told you. So basically, um, to me, like I said, I just kind of feel like either way, if you going down on a man or a woman, you're supposed to eat it or suck it like you love it. Mm. You know what I mean? And I mean, I want to hear the sound effects. I want to hear, you know, like. Mm-hmm. And back to what we were saying earlier. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm running. I'm running back to you because, you know, Jamal. Earlier, you was just like, yeah, you know, I don't really, you know, because uh, every woman. Hey, really cool ass. No, <laughs> you uh, because every woman is different, and I can, I personally cannot stand. Well, now I've been with the same man for ten years now, but prior. When, Probably, I, when that throat was on the loose. Shut up. <laughs> um, I did not like when a guy just come into the situation like whatever he was doing and been doing for everybody else that that's what's oh, going to no, work for I me. I didn't mean like that. I just okay, well, what that. you meant? I just meant like when you met your guy, you knew he was the one, right? You can know somebody the one, but the sex right. still can, you could give them right. a little direction. It could be. It could direction. be. It could, it, could, it could use a little direction every now and then. You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was a little bit wrong, but most of the time, you know, yeah, it, just, yeah, yeah. it sits the way it sits. It feels the way it feels. Mm. And it's right, and you know it. Mm. I didn't say everybody feels so what is I mean, your... not everybody. I mean, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to oh, sit here. What is like your oral tip? What you mean? Oral sex tip. What you mean? What tip? Do you what? have a tip for the people that they can use to better their oral game? Giving or receiving or giving. Hmm. Whatever makes you happy for. I mean, you know, I'm with whatever. I'm nasty, but I'm I'm you know, I'm you know, I gotta be respectful too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean I got I got, you know, I got a little daughter, man, so I'm trying to, you know. Oh wow, but, um, she's not gonna be listening to this. She's 15. She she goes, she she follow everything. Mine 19. Yeah, and I said so whatever the fuck I want to say. She's gonna be on. She's gonna be on. Don't, but, don't um, listen if you don't want to hear Yeah, you know, it is what it is. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It is what it is. Well, I love that you're so respectful. All right. Um <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Boo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we see you have a lot of star power in your series that you're in. Flip the script. Mm-hmm. How is it working with the cast? It was fun. It was I absolutely it was definitely fun. fun. Yes, it's always fun doing something you love. Yes. Okay. Well, I feel you on that. And they're no. really down to earth. Really down to earth. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's thank our guests for coming. Oh, we appreciate. Yeah. It. We really appreciate having you. Appreciate How can people follow you on social media? Jamal Gravy Willard. Jamal Gravy Willard. Mm-hmm. And how do we follow you, Money? Um, the Real Money Sutton is M O N E I. Okay. The, y at the, I. the oh, Real God. Money Sutton. That's follow true. them on social media, guys. And let's say thank you for coming. Appreciate you for having me. Yeah. All right. All right. It's about time for the candy coated cash giveaway. giveaway. We giving that money, that money. We about to give some lucky listener some money. Five hundred dollars uh-huh. to their cash app. Five hundred. Yes, wants. you have to have a cash app to participate in okay. this. I am going to pay you on your cash app five hundred dollars if you get chosen. So basically, right now, we, okay. I want to do what we did last week when we picked. Three people. Okay. And we are going to be asking you questions. Okay. And based off of your answers, uh-huh. which w- will be what gives us our decision. All right. So y'all need to go on, go on get in the ch- go on get in the uh the chat. Mm-hmm. Not the chat, the uh the chat. The call line. The call, the call line. line. Get in the call line up. Get in right. the call queue. Are you guys ready to participate? And the candy coated cash yeah. giveaway. Yes, candy, yes. <laughs> 
Hello? All right. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. We can hear your country ass. Come on in. Yes. Okay. Mama be damn, you hear me? We can hear you, baby. Yes. We're going to um do our question. You know, we're going to go down the line and ask you guys questions. And based off of your questions and your response, excuse me, your responses to the questions, um, we are going to pick who we think deserves the $500 cash app giveaway today. Okay. Oh. All right. I want to start with Mama. Sugar. Let's start with Mama VDM. Mama VDM. Let's go. You ready? You ready, Mama? Yes, I'm here, baby. All right. <laughs> okay, so, baby. do you ever ha- do you have a good story to tell about any time that you've pillow talked about somebody or that they pillow talked about you? So. It's a little embarrassing, but things happen. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm 59 years young, I want to add. Okay. And this story happened when I was about 37. It's good to give or take. So, oh, I, and I'm a grandmother. Okay. So I was watching my grand and kids and my husband. We thought they would sleep, of course. You know, you put it. Stay still. Whatever you're doing, One sit o'clock still. in the morning, little baby shouldn't be running around. Long story short. But we tearing up the bed. And I mean, it might not be pillow talk, but it works. So we tearing up the bed. We rocking the bed. Boom, 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 boom. You know. Mm-hmm. The headboard. Next thing I know, my grandson comes in the room and says, Grandma, stop rocking that bed. Now, that might have been his pillow talk, right? Because we was trying to. Okay. Do Ma- Ma- Mama, I need you to sit still. The door, knocking on the door. We think. And it's the headboard, right? And it's the grandbaby. So he walked in the room and told us, stop knocking the bed. Rock, stop rocking the bed. Oh. And we was rocking that bed. So it was his little talk. I mean, we were, I guess, to the wall. But mm. my grandson was definitely there listening. And it bothered him that we was rocking the bed. Well, damn. All right. Okay, we're going to move on to the next. Is uh, Let's go to CRCJ. CRCJ. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Hey, so how you me. doing? Give us a good story now. Good What's your best pillow talk story? Well, I was going to say, I don't have one for myself, but I do have one that a friend came back and told me. Okay. He was dealing with somebody or whatnot, and I was listening last week, and y'all were talking about the uncut or whatever. Mm-hmm. And apparently the guy was uncut or what happened, whatever the case was. And he was just like, it's thank. And he came back and told us and everything. All of our friends, we were sitting there laughing, clowning the boy. It was bad. But basically... The boy was thinking and thought that he was going to get him fellatio, and it just wasn't going down like that. Ooh, and they went back and told everybody? Came back and told all of us, blasted him on Snapchat and everything. Damn. Mm. Okay. Well, that's <laughs> an interesting one. Okay. That so, was ugly. Yeah, that was sad. Yeah, it was pretty ugly. Okay. DLK. <laughs> DLK, what's up? Hey, I'm here. Hey, girl. What's your good uh, pillow talk story? Okay, my my story is much like the girl earlier who said she was a little older when she um when so, she first performed so, oral. I was actually over 30. However, what? I was so good at it and so committed that the my my ex did not believe that I actually had never performed oral before. Mm. So, A1 Although you're a little aggressive, one, I think my throat skills were pretty much on point. Where are you from? Even for the first time. Where are you from? Chicago originally, and now I live in Maryland. Oh, you're from the crib, huh? Mm. So you know you're trying to go straight to your Instagram page and see what you look like. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, tell me this. All right, even though I don't really consider that a pillow talk story, and neither one of y'all pillow talk stories were that great, so I'm going to ask y'all some other questions. Mm. And you done set yourself up talking about your oral game, so I'm going to have to ask you some questions about that. First of all, how you end up waiting until over 30 before you start sucking dick? (laughs) I can't hear how. Shit, speak up. I was young. I was young. I was young. I didn't... I was young when I started, and then I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm not here for it. Like, I was not here for oral, either giving or receiving. I didn't think it was cool 
at all. Mm -hmm. And so it was until I was older that I was like, oh, you know what? I actually like it. And then afterwards, I was like, oh, I like the response. I like the level of control. And I, you know, you go, I was all in after that. Okay, so what's the craziest place that you were in when you gave oral? The car. The car. What's the question for her? Yeah, Everybody that should. question is for her. All right, she said the car. Okay, CRCJ, give us your best oral game story. What place have you been when you gave some good head? Got you to uh, it took place actually on the back of a truck outside, parked outside of the grandmother's house. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, y'all wasn't scared that nobody would be out there? No, nah, it was like two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I feel you. I'd have had sex on the front porch of somebody's grandmama's house before. You did? Mm-hmm. Including mine, too. Yeah. Ooh, eight one. Nah, I ain't messing eight with one grandma's one. house. Mm-hmm. I can't do that. All right. And then Mama V DM. Tell us. Oh, wait. Mama V. I got one for you. So oh. <laughs> I was down at the marina. The who? In Yonkers and the Amtrak, the Metro North run down there, people fishing. And me and my baby daddy got wild and crazy. And the Amtrak was going by, and the stop was like a little bit from where we was on the it's like a beachfront. And do you know they stopped the goddamn but we did not stop sugar? Okay. <laughs> we right did not stop way. sugar. <laughs> and for the record. I love sucking dick. I started when I was young. I'm 59 and I'm a as long as excuse me, not 13, more like 17, you know. You said 1989. No, he said that. I said I was 17. No, when did you the what year you said it was? Oh, let me see. 70. I was born in 63, 73, about 78, 79, give it a chance. Seven and that's what uh, I'm talking about, one. Grandma. You better give it before it became popular. Listen, <laughs> what? I'm seven strong. I got seven children, 18 grandchildren, and we didn't have TVs back then. Yes, yes. Oh, hey, I'm with it. I'm with okay, it. Okay, girl. All right, everybody. Out of the three, who do y'all think deserves the five hundred dollars? Tell us in the chat. Mama VDM. C or a C R C J or D L K I is D L K A I. What do y'all think? Drop it in the chat. Everybody said none. And then I see mama. It need to be mama here. She been sucking dick for all us were living. Yep. And when they she said mama she, B, we did. well, listen, with, baby, with that's the exception how she got me when she said sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody saying mama. All right, y'all. That's who won. Mama DVM, she won today. Got it. Love you, baby. Whenever you hit me, Candy, I'm going to be there. Okay, sugar. Yeah, all Thank right. you, everyone. Appreciate y'all. Love, love, baby. Love. We'll talk to you in a minute, mama. All right, baby. All right, now. All right, love. All right. Y'all, that is so funny. Now, when y'all let grandma beat y'all when it comes to stories sucking about oral dick. sex, she said she was sucking dick down y'all to the Amtrak needed to in be New York. Big. Y'all needed to be big. She, her phone was breaking up and everything, but her story still was the best. I'm like, Jesus, what is going on? <sighs> Come on now. Now, A1, let me ask you this. I ain't got shit to tell you. Why? Because I don't know where you're about to go with your little funny I was just going to say, where <laughs> is wait, 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 the wait. best place mm-hmm. that you've ever given head? Given head? Given head. Oh, DJ Booth. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't got and, and received head in there. Uh, I mean, received How and given head. How do you have head. time to switch the records if you up there again? Shit, head? put a mix on. I done, I done got some head on stage before in front of 22,000 people. Wait a minute. How? On one of our shows? I would never tell you that. They just use your imagination. And- Wait, how? How? You was on our stage getting head while you was supposed nah, to work? No, I'm just telling you, like, think about something like that. I would never tell you if I ever done anything with you, with your head and ass. Excuse you? How am I a hater? Because you're going to be like, uh-uh, now. I'm supposed to be paying you to do this and this. How you going to... I would never tell you if I ever done anything. I'm just giving you a visual to how that was set up. Just think about something like that. 
How you doing work and you got you up there getting your, your dick sucked? I got on my stage. dick sucked on the dungeon too. You said what? I got my dick sucked on the dungeon tour. I mean, I can believe that. The dungeon tour was a lot of things happening. I just told you, think about a box that's set up like that. So you was doing getting that done while we were on the dungeon tour? How? I mean, you had a lot of talking to do. So you were talking and getting your dick sucked at the same time? Hey, man, I was a wild nigga. I got, and... I got footage and everything. Huh? You know I got video. Oh, my gosh. You know he loved a video or something. Hmm? Yeah, and went to the crowd like this. So, what? I'm sorry, but did you actually come to orgasm? No, no, no. It had to be like some quick shit. Just like some quick, Joe. Yeah, just yeah. sucking yeah. it nah, a they bit. Was, they was on stage for the... I'm telling too much shit. They was one of the dancers. No, nah, they was... Oh, no, nah, I wish. Well, but not... Nah, they, they... I don't like this nigga. Yeah, boy. <laughs> they was... <laughs> They was what? What are the? They was on stage like for one of the games and stuff like that when we was. Bringing what are the people. random people we called out? The audience no, came up and they, sucked your dick. No, they wasn't random to me. Oh, you knew the person. Yeah, I made sure that they got candy. Can we move on? So you pulled them up on purpose. Yeah, just to get that little, just get that little thrill off real fast. Really? Mm-hmm. Listen to this. The things you find out later. He out there setting up the people that's going to come up on the stage so he can get head on stage. Just for the video and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just to get my little wild shit off. I cannot. Hey, man. Close friends is a motherfucker sometimes. Tune in. I cannot. Hey, man. I cannot. Well, <laughs> let me just say, I have had a great time with you. I had a great time with our guests. Yeah. And of course, you guys, I have always having a great time with you, our audience. Wonderful. Um, we're going to play a couple of songs, but I guess for now, follow us on all social media. Make yeah. sure you're following the this show on uh-huh. the AMP app. Correct. Even if you just joined in, I still need you to follow this page. Follow this page. All right. Make sure you tune in to us each and every Monday night. Uh, on YouTube. On YouTube. On yes. Candy Online. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Oh, no. Thank you for listening to Candy Coded Live. We love you, man. We're going to party a little bit. Candy Coded Live. Music, can